So here in the Midwest United States, summer is in full swing, making the nights perfect for long cruises with a good stereo. And being someone who owns dozens of head units, the one I choose, and my favorite one, is the Atoto S8, which will be available on sale today for Amazon Prime Day. Check the description below for details and check out my catalog for more videos on the S8 and accessories. But this video is going to be a ultimate guide on how to navigate the S8, properly use all of its functions, and will kind of be a go-to guide for any of the frequently asked questions that I've received about the S8. All right, so here we are in the Roadmaster. I've already got it booted up and everything. First thing that we're gonna start with is these three little buttons up here. And basically, if you're familiar with kind of any Android, you should be familiar with this. We have the back button on the left, which will exit out of any application that you're in, and it will also turn off that application. The circle button will back out of the application, but it will still leave the application running. And the square button, if you hit it, will show any applications that you have running. And you can go ahead and hit the little rubbish bin there to delete or clear your cache, which actually allows it to run a lot faster. Kind of clears up some memory for you. So now from here, what I'm going to go through is the settings. And this can answer a lot of the questions that I've been getting. We're just going to go, like I said, from very first one, go all the way down. First one is your Wi-Fi. And uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Next one you have is data usage, which will obviously tell you, you know, how much data you are using, depending on if you are on an actual SIM, which it says right there. And, you know, so you might have only a certain amount of data and you don't want to go over, which is very good. More consists of, I believe, yep, hotspot and, tether and tethering, excuse me, <laughs> and then uh, the mobile network, all of that. Then we go to the device. This is kind of cool because this explains a couple of the things that I, or a couple of the questions that I've had. Um, they do have downloadable wallpapers. You can download any type of wallpaper. We will get to that. Um, but they do have some built-in wallpapers. And uh, then you have your auto black screen, which can be good for night driving. Then you just basically have your sound, which um, one of the things when I that I kind of maybe don't like about <laughs> this radio is it has this horrible touch sound when it first starts. Every, it's just a beep for every time you hit any of the buttons, which some people might like it, some people might not. But basically, that's how you turn that off. Then you have your loudness, amplifier turn on, all of that. Speed compensation, which means that the faster you go, the louder the radio gets. Um, so then from there, general has a lot of different things in it. Uh, you can kind of read them from here. Auto start switch, disable video playback while in motion, which is probably good. I should probably have that on, to be honest. Um, but I don't really watch too much while I'm uh, driving. So display OSD time, mirror display of rear camera, which is cool. Uh, rear camera guideline, display front view while reverse or after reversing, which is kind of cool. I like that. And then you can mess with your static reference line. We're going to go ahead and turn the car on and put it in reverse real quick <laughs> and see it pops up right away. You'll see if you watch the other video that it does do an awesome job at simulating that panoramic view. And we will turn it on and check out the boot up time pretty quick. And uh, it's very quick even after it's been off for a while too, which is something I really like about that. Then basically from there, a bunch of different things all for... Uh, basically your gen general setups um, I this vehicle is too old to have anything like steering wheel uh, controls but this is where you would do all of that now for these buttons down along the bottom here that you can't really see you can illuminate them and uh, that's when you want to go to this the panel illumination and basically what I do is I just always put it on uh, the loop and that what that does is this will change the color of these lights and uh, kind of loop through all of the different colors next we got user and accounts location system reset that's you know where you're gonna find all that that's pretty self-explanatory system again this is where you can change your date and time accessibilities if you want to screen lock find out about the device but what this has and this is answering a question that I get very very often is a lot of Android head units have a they have a boot up logo with um, 
you can put you know your vehicle's manufacturer on there and they don't have any downloaded on there but you can literally come here so basically you put your logo image in a folder named my car in the root directory of the external storage device and then basically the resolution of the image should not be lower than 1024 by 600 and then please reboot after the system is applied what that means is you could download literally any logo anything you want really and use it as your startup your boot up logo so pretty cool i really like it i think i like that better than um you know just having a couple to choose from because maybe you don't like them or i don't know they don't look proper or you want to do something else that's fine now basically you will have three different screens here and uh, we're going to go into each of the individual apps i guess you could have more but um, you have, I think, up to four different screens. I'm just only using two. So basically, that right there, all the little dots, is all of your apps. So basically, kind of just go over a general idea of what they all do. Um, basically, Google Assistant, that's voice uh, command, stuff like that. Carbit link, that is what you're going to have to hit to actually either carbit link or the car link if you're having a problem connecting your phone via that that is how go to car link it automatically hooks up it takes like two seconds and then if you're listening to music and you don't hear it come through there go to bt music and then whatever you have on it will be displayed there and then it will start playing and then when you back out of there you can just hit the circle that will actually keep it running and then remember square will bring back whatever we have we can clear those because we want to save some space we're gonna go back to all of the apps and then basically you can just take a little look at all of them um, we have equalizer over there I go into a lot of detail how to do the equalizer and all of the sound settings in my other video check those out it's gonna shoot a playlist up there but if you don't have enough apps which this one came with YouTube and Spotify Torque, Lumi Auto, check into those. Those are really cool. Well, I mean, you don't really, you know about YouTube and that, but Torque, Lumi Auto, stuff like that. These are very cool things that they have downloaded already. But if you want more, they do have a bunch of different apps that you can download and have, you know, right here uh, on your head unit. Uh, gallery Google you know stuff like that go ahead take a minute to look through all of these um, there's for your steering wheel setups and uh, yeah I mean rear cam radio check out my videos for just all of the things that this does have um, I will go into the torque app real quick this is basically an onboard diagnostic system uh, there's a little there's a little dongle that hooks into your uh, ODB slot and hooks up to your car's computer so basically you can run real-time diagnostics it's basically like having a giant scanner that's already connected to your vehicle so that's very very cool now if you notice here there's really no way to back out we want to go then to the six button on the right down on the bottom right of the uh, of the head unit that will bring us back to home and then if we wanted to go back I said again to any of our apps again for the fourth time I will show you you can clear them there <laughs> so from here if you keep going over then we have widgets and these are really really cool um, basically any of these are all different search bars uh, screen time you can have it looks like we're hooked up to oh oops get your notifications okay yeah, we have routines. Basically, all these are, are all little widgets. And to get those onto your main screen, what you want to do, here's Pandora. I don't use Pandora, but just hold on to it, and then it will kind of show you, you know, where you can put it. It looks like we can have up to three screens, so I'm going to start a new screen and put Pandora there. Well, all right, so I guess that's about it. There is also a microphone a little hole for a microphone so it does have an internal mic you don't really need to have the external mic that comes with it which I would suggest connecting the external mic if you do get it but there's also a little tiny hole on the bottom left and that is to reset the actual unit 
And now I have not had to reset this unit at all. I've had other units that I've had to reset right out of the box, which is weird, but I've not had to use that, but it's very good that it is there for just in case. Android head units kind of, I think they really need one. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure to check out today Prime, uh, Amazon Prime, because they are having ridiculous sales on the S8. One thing I highly recommend checking out is the Atoto backup camera. That thing's amazing. Make sure to check that out. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned because I got a lot more coming. And we have a major upgrade in the way of cameras. Like, subscribe, comment, and um, any questions or comments on the S8 or anything, leave them down in the comments. And uh, have a good one. Stay tuned. And go to Amazon. If I was you, I would go to Amazon right now. So thank you very much, guys. Have a good one.